Hey everyone, and welcome back. We're gonna be talking about like the presentation view and some collaboration tools built right into Figma. So let's jump right in. So the presentation view, which I have open over here in this tab, in which we've been testing a lot of our stuff with, over here, it allows you to see your prototype in action. So you wanna use this while you kind of build and test your prototype, or when you're ready to even share your prototype with others. Now, the easiest way to access your presentation view, if we go back to our original file, is to click this little button up here. If we just access that presentation, it'll open up a new tab with your presentation or your prototype in full view. Now you can do a couple of things here. You can click through if there are any hotspots. So if we go back and we actually create one, let's do that really quickly. So just a very quick, we'll just do this instantly. So right there, okay. Let's go back to our presentation. So you can easily just interact with hotspots like that to get across prototypes. But if you don't want to do that, you can just use your arrow keys to go through your pages. If there's no prototype, there will be all your pages that are designed and you can just tab through them if you want to. But if you do have a prototype, you'll see at the bottom that this is page one of two. So only two images or two screens are within your prototype right now. So let's go back, let's just fix that prototype over here. We're going to make sure that this is fixed to the bottom, perfect. And there we go, okay. So we have a prototype. And there's a couple of things you can do while you're in this presentation view. You can easily change the options. That's probably the biggest thing right here, is changing these options. And essentially these view options will allow you to kind of change based off of like the size of your prototype. So if I click 100%, I can easily see it, but it's going to scale my whole device beyond my screen or my viewport right here. So I often don't use that. What I do use is something like scale down to fit. There's also scale down or up to fill. So if your prototype is like smaller, you can select that option over here, fill to actually expand to fill the top or the width of the container. I usually, I'm working on mobile or if I'm working on a desktop, I may have a custom size, but in the case of mobile, I usually just use fit. Another option that you can use is uh, showing hotspot hints on click. So you can use that usually when I'm testing with users, I don't. So you'll notice that if I restart this, I won't see the hotspot that was there before. So let's go turn that on again. Then you'll see the hotspot. Another thing you can do is hide and show the toolbar and footer. So easiest way to do that is just to click here, but remember the way to get it back is command plus backslash. They show you the little shortcut right there. So if I turn it off, it'll give you a reminder of what it is and you can copy your share link because if you do copy your share link, it will update your share link and we'll get into the sharing feature later, but it's much more immersive. So if I go back here and I actually go to my prototype and I go to my prototype settings, I go to my backgrounds, I'm gonna make that black. And that is just much more immersive than it was before. So. I'm gonna just bring back that toolbar and there it is. So do you remember that when you do wanna hide the toolbar, you're going to want to copy that link if you wanna send it out like that. I think that's really good for actually testing with users. It's so easy because it kind of removes the fluff around here, like all this kind of stuff. If you don't want them commenting or if you don't want them clicking anything around here, Totally easy to just set it up for them, send them the link like this, and it's much better. Another thing you can do is actually go to full screen. So entering full screen to make the prototype much more immersive. So this is gonna be a much more immersive experience if I go to full screen, hide the toolbar, and all I see are my tabs, but the user wouldn't see that. Okay, and 
I think the biggest thing within prototyping over here is just like the collaboration within Figma. So when I like to share my prototypes, I'm going to make sure that like teammates or stakeholders that I'm depending on are going to comment on that. So the easiest way to do that is to have your share prototype button over here and you can click that and you can send it to people to view or if you're like in a Slack group with them or if you wanna just send it quickly to like a friend on Facebook or whatever messaging platform, all you need to do is copy the link. You can also embed the code if you need to. That's just totally up to you. Uh, Figma does support live embeds, but we can get into that at another time. So you can add people to the project. You can also just anyone with the link can view. I think like this is probably what you're gonna be using it for the most in terms of like sharing it with others to kind of comment on your prototype, sharing it with users if you're like testing like remotely. I often test remotely when I'm working from home, I'll test with a user just over like a Zoom call and I'll send them a link like this and they will easily be able to interact a prototype while sharing their screen. So this really kind of keeps our whole workflow in one place. We can design in Figma and we can easily share our prototype within Figma and get all of our feedback within Figma. So remember to update your link if you kind of hide the toolbar. I know I mentioned that a couple of times, but it's really important. Another thing that I love within Figma is actually just commenting. I mean, it's so easy to get feedback. You can comment directly on prototypes. So all you need to do is click this button over here, or you can just press C and you can kind of drag your comment anywhere. I can just say, love this image. It also supports emojis and you can post it. And over here, you can kind of copy the link to this comment and send it to somebody. You can edit your comment, you can delete it. Any editor on the file can actually take your comment and resolve it. So let me show you what that looks like. So um, if I'm the editor, and another thing to note is that if you do actually wanna see comments, you're gonna to have to actually click on them. But as the editor, you can resolve the comment just like that. All you need to do is click this little button. It's a little check mark in a circle, click it and you've resolved the comment. Now let's go back to our main file and I'm gonna click on the comment over here. So if you click on this comment button, you'll be able to comment and you'll notice that the comments that we left in the presentation view also show up on our actual like designs as well, which helps us as designers because we don't necessarily need to be in the presentation view to actually view it. So you can easily see them there. You can see your resolved comments on the side here. You can view based off of only yours. You can bring those back. You can actually unresolve the comment. You can also reply to people. So if I just press at, say, hey, hey Daniel, what's up? And that person will get a direct notification based off of the comment settings. So these are the comment settings over here. Like I mentioned, you can show resolved. You can also decide if you'd like to show the resolved comments in the prototype if you want. So if we go to our prototype over here, you can show like your resolved comments in there and you can show only your comments in there as well. So definitely a lot of options here for just general collaboration. And honestly, when we're creating our own prototype, I really want and I really urge you to copy like a link, get the link from here, share it with people that you wanna get feedback from because it just, getting feedback quickly, and this is why I love Figma so much, is that like you can just get feedback quickly within your prototype and make those changes right there. You're not switching between different applications. You're not fumbling over creating a prototype. You saw how easy it was. And our next video, we're definitely gonna create our own. So remember that to create a good application or a good product, you need to start that feedback loop as early as possible. So we're gonna link together our prototype and we'll get it to a place where you can send it off and get feedback quickly.